Wow, this is another great Saturday. We are back again here. This is Dialogue at the Well. And as we have always gathered here to change, to speak, and to make sure that we actualize the real things that are happening in the lives of young people. You know, there are things that are happening out there every day and we are here this is where we gather on wema tv at 6 pm so that we can iron out so that we can face issues so that we can uh, you know address the matters that are the young people are facing every day and that is why this is a conversation you cannot afford to miss and this is another great saturday and as i tell you this is a conversation that you cannot afford to miss eh? there is a great and a wonderful guest that is with us today and we are so humbled that she is with us i want to give her an opportunity to introduce herself as we get rolling eh? Eh, karibu sana. Asante sana. yes amen praise the lord my name is pastor mary i'm born again jesus is lord i pastor by the grace of god at a church called house of power chapel utawala under the leadership of Reverend David Mathu, together with Dr. Margaret Mathu. It's a great privilege for me to be here as we are going to discuss and share as the Spirit of God is going to lead us. Asante sana mchungaji. Wow, I tell you, this is now uh, a Mary, but uh, she is a great woman of God. You know, oh, I, I'm happy that uh, she started with that and mentioned that uh, she is a pastor. I have known her for some time and uh, uh, quite interacted in uh, uh, several occasions. And I want to tell you that you cannot miss it with this lady. Uh, she is well uh, fast. She is well informed on matters that are affecting young people. And that is why uh, we are with her today. And I want to tell you, this is another very amazing show, very amazing conversation that is about to roll here. And uh, today, kama vile mnajua, we have always been out there, you know, tukiangalia mambo ya, ya, ya vijana, or now they are handling their issues, na vile wanapambana na, na maneno huku inje. And uh, of late, I've been meeting and quite a number of young people, pale inje, you know, na, na, na zile vitu wana pitana pitana na azo hapo, and especially on matters of relationship. And that is the area that I want us to, uh, to get to uh, today. Especially, uh, imamu ya vijana, especially these young people, now that we have a pastor in the house and a pastor who is a young person, and by uh, she is also experiencing what uh, the young people are going through. Now, uh, in the in the process of interacting with young people, unaskia wa gisema that uh, these ladies in church, these girls in church, eh, uh, when you get out, when you start uh, a relationship, eh, they are very boring to date. But now, now that we have a pastor who happens to be a young lady in uh, our studios today, eh, she is going to tell us that the young people are saying, eh, whenever you are involved with uh, a church girl, eh, when I do a church girl, eh, then you may panga pale, you may wana disappoint wanasema ukienda kandeti na yeye pale ana disappoint others tule ile drinks the drinks ama the meals zenye anaona pale unapata tu zina yani zina disappoint baka unapata kijana sasa anashindwa sasa huyu msichana ni msichana wa aina gani wanasema when you make a call you are dating a church girl unasema hello eh yani hata vile anajibu eh the response peke yake inakwambia ai bana huu mtu hata vile ana respond hata you are friends baka una inabidi unaenda mbali because hata vile ana yani hawezi kuita ile majina tamtamu yani those sweet sweet names eh you know anataka mwanza na kamustari ya bibilia you know mtetemesha kidogo you know they are like dating a church girl is very boring pastor Hii maneno wewe. <laughs> eh, have you encountered these things? Ama ni mimi huna sikia vitu huko nje. Wow. <laughs> this is so interesting. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and uh, it's a wonderful section. Yeah. It's a it's a great discussion that you can have. Uh-huh. And uh, as a young person because I'm young. Yes. I can tell you that dating church girls mm-hmm. is not <laughs> <laughs> boring oh, yeah? as per they say. Uh-huh. Because one of the 
uh, the difference between dating in Christianity or a Christian person yes, yes. and dating in the world, mm -hmm. it's only the view. Mm -hmm. Like when uh, in the world, mm -hmm. when they, someone is like in a relationship and you are dating, yeah. what they are looking for is maybe in intimacy, uh -huh, uh -huh. maybe mm -hmm. announcing the that? word, uh, uh -huh. maybe, yes, yes. Wale mm -hmm. yeah. you, you, you tend to understand that the, 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 the term dating, mm -hmm. intimacy, intimacy must be mm -hmm. inclusive, yeah, yeah. sleepovers. Uh -huh. You know, Kujibamba, eh, 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 Okay, anyway, there is something that uh, that uh, Pastor Mary is bringing out here as a, as a church girl. Yeah, Pia, you are part of church girl. Eh? Now, do you understand why? She is talking about expectations. Eh? Mm. So, uh, does it mean that uh, the, the, the problem is uh, the expectations in dating, yes. the problem is not the church girl? Yes, the, the problem is not the girl. Mm -hmm. The problem uh -huh. or the challenge, let's call the it challenge, the challenge. Yeah, the, challenge yeah. the challenge is not about the girl, uh -huh. it's the expectation. The expectation. The expectation uh, between the, the church girl mm -hmm. and another girl outside mm -hmm. there, they want to call them like out the world, uh -huh. like a different, uh, another lady. Yeah. Like when I'm dating you, you don't expect me to start picking your calls and calling you, hey, baby, uh -huh. how are you, honey? Mm -hmm. How was your day? Mm -hmm. You know, as long as I'm going to ask you, how was your day? Yeah. The sweet, sweet names, mm -hmm. you know, there is that stand and principle mm -hmm. that ones have. But but now, uh, uh, Pastor, don't you feel that um, the, the, the expectations of the people that have been dating or the people that are dating or the people that are engaged in relationships, eh? there are some kind of um, the do's, rather, yes. of dating, where somebody expects, you know, some form of appreciation, you know, to feel like, uh, you know, somebody loves me, so even when they pick my call, the way they speak, you know, on that phone, eh? you know, I feel like I'm dating somebody. Mm -hmm. Don't you feel that the church girl, mm -hmm. Anna vibes. <laughs> <laughs> eh? Vibes Zico. Zico Pasi, vibes Zico. Uh -huh. Animoto, Sana Kwanza. Mm -hmm. Like, in what happens, eh? As I'm growing uh -huh. with stages, like, for example, we bring the story of intimacy yeah. and the names. Mm -hmm. When a, a lady gets married, yeah. what you're doing now as a youth, uh -huh. it's against the Lord. Uh, All right, <laughs> but when you get married, uh, it will be against the Lord not to do it uh -huh. because you're already married. <laughs> you're already married. You're already married. So, is there a possibility that the the young people that are dating today they are doing the things that are supposed to be done in marriage during dating? Most of the young people. Most of the young people. Yes. So, there is. Uh, can we say that the young people that are or the young men that are dating in church? And why they, in most cases, they are preferring to date girls that are outside the church is because of uh, probably the expectation and the understanding of dating. What I can say, uh, if you love somebody, uh -huh. you will pick them yeah. and fashion them uh -huh. to become the person you want them yeah. to become. So if you pick somebody and they don't know how to speak, mm -hmm. they don't know how to dress, yeah. they don't know how to use the forks and the knife, mm -hmm. as long as you love the person, mm -hmm. you're going to show them the way. Mm -hmm. And in most cases, the man has the authority. Mm -hmm. So when you are tearing me, yeah. yes, yes, yes. All right? Kama sijui kuvaa heels, wakati unanikatia na vaanga ngoma bata, ama inatangwa bata ngoma. You know, you saw beyond the bata ngoma. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And you saw a, some, somebody that you can take, wash, Mm -hmm. Clean. Yeah. This is what it's not By the way, I kuna kitu kama wife material. Uh -huh. Material ziko. <laughs> Kila mtu na kuangali material. Shida ni teira. Shida ni teira exactly. <laughs> Shida ni teira. Uh -huh. All ladies are materials to get married. Yeah. All ladies are materials of excellency. Uh -huh. Every woman is a material of greatness. Uh -huh. But the teira when they comes, when you have an expectation 
like nikichukua material nataka nishone troza uh-huh. and the same tailor mwingine mm. atashona skirts yeah. mwingine tailor atashona nguo ya mafiriri <laughs> <laughs> from the same from the material, same material. From the same material. Yeah. yes so what i can say when we are dating bring your expectations on the table mm-hmm. what do you expect from me mm-hmm. what are the do's and the don'ts yeah what are the boundaries that you can't go beyond mm-hmm. because number one and then when men are de- okay when the the the, 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 the man is mm-hmm. dating a lady mm-hmm. there is the bible says that uh, there is no way light and darkness mm-hmm can walk together yeah that's the bible so if a man gets born again mm-hmm. she was dating a lady who is not born again yes so when he's coming to the church now he's born again mm-hmm. he want to settle for marriage yeah unakuta anataka apate kenya alikuwa na ule dem Ah yeah, yeah, yeah. Ule kwa chacha ako nayo. Uh-huh. Lakini unasahau huyu sasa msichana mwenye ako kwa church mm. ame grow only anajua Yesu peke yake. Yes. Hakuna story nyingine. Yes. So hata story za date uh-huh. ni venye sasa wanakuja like you can take yourself for a date uh-huh. for swimming as a girl uh-huh. you can give yourself a treat. Yeah. So unanifundisha chukua material tengeneza kinyo unataka. Now on that on that uh, uh, pasta eh yeah. that where in this generation yeah. and uh, the times that we are living mm-hmm. eh, when dating time is too short mm-hmm. it's not like see kama ile miaka kitambo when people used to date for years yeah. you know for 5 years for yeah. 10 years now what is in one year the next year mm-hmm. um, unapanga ma- mambo yenu now do you think that um, mm-hmm. these young people mm-hmm. the young men that we are talking about mm-hmm. have enough time mm-hmm. to groom mm. or rather to manufacture what they want mm. out of the girl let me tell you faster yes you will never know a woman you will never know a man when uh-huh. you're dating yes. even if you date for 10 years uh-huh. because everybody has a mask yes that's what i can say uh-huh. and uh, the bible says mm-hmm. that it's the spirit of god yes who knows all things mm-hmm. and the deeper things of god yes So you can know the right person we can meet today mm-hmm. and within a span of three months I'm already having the knowledge ama the insight of God within me uh-huh. with the right man for marriage. Yes. So ukuje unatembeanga na slippers. Uh-huh. Ukuje hata mashati au kuja uvangi shati uh-huh. trouser you don't iron as long as within me mm-hmm. I'm persuaded and I know that you're the right man and you're the right man that the Lord has made for me. Mm-hmm. I can take you You see the span the, the, the time of dating you will never know a person. Mm-hmm. So with the, the pastors nowadays I I bless the Lord because we have one thing in our churches mm-hmm. which is very common the pastors are taking initiative mm-hmm. to to do marriage counseling yes. to the young people when they are getting married. Yeah. So because you've never been married mm-hmm. any other time mm-hmm. so even if I date you for 10 years you know I'll never come to your house. Yes yes. I'll yes. never know where you sleep. Kama una lalanga chini kama una unapikanga chakula we will never know. Mm-hmm. So what I can say with this timing mm-hmm. uh, there is no time frame for dating mm-hmm. there is no specific yeah, there is no exactly there is no uh-huh. specific timeline mm-hmm. for dating yeah. when you know that the, this is the right person mm-hmm. you've had it from the lord mm-hmm. you have a conviction from the lord and mm-hmm. then bado mtu anaangalia anga like nataka mtu mtol like i'm short tall dark and handsome tall dark and handsome so ukiona ndio huyu mwenye ulikuwa ngo na expect alafu uh. unampeleka kwa abc ya kibingu <laughs> una verify <laughs> Kuna ku verify. Kuna ku verify. Sasa iko verify. Uh-huh. Eh book rate fire hapo. Unajua mwingine alikuja akasema ati ku verify, ku verify ati ni ni road test. Akasema kuna mambo hii hapo. Unajua uh, kwa hii mambo ya dating eh. Mm. They, are, they are also guys as you say that uh, they, they, they are missing mm. the um, probably the standards of or they have the wrong standards mm. eh, for dating whereby wanasema now you cannot get married to somebody mwenye ujui unaona waje tuseme mambo about eh, let's not talk about uh, intimacy and the rest eh. mm. wanasema how do you get married to somebody hata ujui kama anajua kupika mm. unaona mm. uh, those kind of things mm. how do you get to learn mm. more of a person and you ujui this person anaweza kuwa boring in this side mm. but the other side is okay number one, let me acha nirudi nyuma kidogo uh-huh. When uh, Joseph had engaged Mary mm-hmm. in the Bible yes. it was known in heaven mm-hmm. they were not yet married mm-hmm. if uh, I get to 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 explain it so well yeah. they were not yet married they were in a relationship yes an engagement yes and Mary, Joseph decided to leave Mary mm-hmm. because she's pregnant yes but the pregnancy 
was a uh, was a, co- a, co- a conceiving through the power of the Holy Spirit. Mm-hmm. But you see, the Holy Spirit had to intervene to speak to Joseph. Yes. That don't leave your wife Mary. Mm-hmm. She's expectant of the Holy Spirit. When we come to the the things of relationship and dating, it is known in heaven. God is the author. Yes. God is the one that initiated. Mm-hmm. And there is something because I love speaking to young people mm-hmm. as much as I am a young person. And uh, 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 when when you are a young person and you you want to get married, ukichagua kutafuta na macho, tafuta na macho hadi upate. Mhm. Ukichagua kutafuta na through the Holy Spirit. Mhm. Search through the Holy Spirit. Uh-huh. Utakuja ukiwa na pesa, uko na gari mzuri, uko na kazi mzuri. Mm-hmm. But if I, I pray and I get to understand within mm-hmm. me because there is that inner peace. Yes. There is that inner peace within you that mm-hmm. this is the right man. Let me get back to Joseph so that I may be able to explain it as well. So when the Joseph wanted to leave Mary uh-huh. because she's pregnant, yes. the Holy Spirit brought an intervention mm-hmm. and he told Joseph, "Don't leave her." Mm-hmm. because it's from the lord every time we are dating according to the purpose and the will of god you know i'm speaking this mm-hmm. uh bringing it to a narrow end that we are speaking about christians mm-hmm. isn't exactly. it yeah. we're speaking about christians so come on a date and say na una peace ndani yako number one is to check the peace of your heart yeah. number to pray mm-hmm. because god akuangiki mtu weird yeah anakuanga ako pale expecting anasema call on to me and i will show you of great and in such about things you know nothing about yeah. so if we get to, how you can be able to know the right person is peace through the holy spirit uh maybe what you've been looking for in life unapata kwa huyo mse na sasa nakupika kupika sasa kama chapati zangu ni map za kenya ama za africa uh. na wewe unajua kupika so many pena si tulisema ni material <laughs> chukua uende ukatengeneze bora iive ifike eh? kwa tumbo mtu as long as umependa mtu hey. na ngo sawa so there is a, there is a, these guys eh mm. that have a belief that these ladies or rather these girls that have been brought up in church mm. they are too churchy mm. if there is a term like that yani wako ni watu wa kanisa kabisa yani they don't want to you know they, they are not ready to learn as in mm. they are so rigid they are so rigid eh? into what they believe in eh? like we are talking about um, in terms of dressing eh uh, pengine mimi nataka tuende simu simu then umekuja na ile keeping the city clean ile kwenda ikipangia huko chini na tunaenda simu unaona doing doing swimming eh mm-hmm. so and somebody is so rigid kumtoa pale ai bana inakuwa ni ngumu kumwambia ati ati date uh, like, like, today I want us to do coffee you know in a certain ah ma kama sio uhuru pak mimi mahali tunaonekana na kila mtu astaki Watch it guy. Now the those that are so rigid, eh? mm. how do we help these church girls? Or there is a problem with the guy or with the girl. These that are so rigid. Uh, Anaamini. Ukimpigia uh, simu. Riba shakate. You know is a conversation. Anaanza na roho kwanza, anaanza na roho mpaka wewe ukiwa unasema eh hapa sasa how do, you know actually you cannot be able to continue with the conversation. Eh? The girl is so chachi akitaka mkutane ni mkesha ni mkesha na mkutanie kwa kesha you know how do we help those girls all right number one, uh, i strongly believe and i believe in this eh? yeah when uh, you know when you're dating you're eyeing to get married yes it's not a relationship in mtachi kwa mlango mm. so when you're dating and you started the journey Yes. It is not good to start it especially when you in the church mm-hmm. without the knowledge of your pastor. Yes. All right? Mm-hmm. So this will help both the lady and the man to know that kabla uambie wazazi ambie mchungaji. Mhm. Kikiumana mchungaji anajua venye ataweza ku heal the two souls. Mhm. Now the way we can be able to help this church girl. Mhm mwenye hayaamini kuhusu kwenda kofi mm-hmm. na kwenda na kwenda swimo mm-hmm. usimu invite peke yake mm-hmm. all right so unajua best friend yake yes. you know you are learning with yes. time yes. and kenye kinaweza fanya akatai kwenda maybe cjs mm-hmm. akatai kwenda java mm-hmm. akatai kwenda rainbow and mm-hmm. the other namely places that we can call yeah. ni kwa sababu number one, 
you've never been somewhere that you are relating anything beside the matters of church and God. Mm-hmm. And I'm tending to understand that this girl have mm-hmm. grown in the church. Kwa hivyo hakuna kitu kingine ana understand. Yeah. So un, tunaweza msaidia hivi. Mm-hmm. Once you invited for a date, don't go alone. Mhm. Ita kusaidia kupata confidence with time. Mm-hmm. So when I come with my friend, na tena huyu friend yangu mwenye nimekam na yeye mm-hmm. asikae kwa meza moja yenye tunaongea na wewe. Mm-hmm. All right? Just from aka aka distance but anasikia at least ako na mtu mwingine kikiumana <laughs> unajua Kenya wanaogopanga by the way ni kikiumana <laughs> oh eh oh wanaogopanga kikiumana sasa <laughs> atapotelea wapi mm-hmm. so ako zile za she has another person out mm-hmm. there mm-hmm. and then she can feel the courage of it and then yeah. when you go for for the date as mm-hmm. a man una unamuonyesha like don't be so don't be touchy in mm-hmm. fact don't be, sitaki kusema so because mm-hmm. you're not allowed to be touchy <laughs> yeah. eh yeah. don't be touchy uh-huh. mwambie this is where I'm, I'm, uh, hapa ndo nalenga mm-hmm. this is my focus mm-hmm. this is what I would like us to do like the next time utamu invite mm-hmm. hata with time let, let let the date grow tunaweza sema gradually mm-hmm. ni kama katoto kamezaliwa yeah. always introduce ya katoto kamezaliwa uh, nyama mm-hmm ya kuku hata kama ni mm, choma eh na mahindi choma mm. ama kuku, ama ama choma mm-hmm. zenye zinauzwa around you know the good places yeah. unaka introduce you pole win pole. the child yeah. that is the world mm-hmm. you win the child mm-hmm. now win the love of this lady yeah because if somebody loves you mm-hmm. unakuta wana inanga next time mm-hmm. hata kupenda you've never related in love mm-hmm. and so anajaribu kucheza chini mm-hmm. mm-hmm. sasa okay my directors are signaling me mm-hmm. that time is uh, running out eh? right. now um dating or rather in relationship mm-hmm. is going to start from um from a certain point mm-hmm. and in most cases a point of attraction mm-hmm. Okay. Mm. Now how do we make this girl attractive mm. so that uh, probably they can be seen? Mm. Because some of them are in, in so much into the things that uh, you know that please them within the church eh, mm. until they have no opportunity mm. for guys to see them. Uh pastor, I can also say this happened to both the men uh-huh. and the ladies in the church. Yes. Let me also touch the side for the men. Uh-huh. You find that Huyo msi akikukatia mm-hmm. anakuja na scriptures zote. Yeah, mistari. Akienda date mm-hmm. haongei like he's not sharing out what he wants. Mm-hmm. Uh, the way we can say it uh, is that when we we are dating speak out your vision, mm-hmm. speak out your minds, mm-hmm. let the person know I would like to extend the friendship mm-hmm. to something greater. Yeah. I would like us to have a family. Yeah. You know when you're married as much as there is the spiritual part mm-hmm. there is the the business people do business together mm-hmm. people invest together yeah. so as a man when you are approaching this woman share out your heart your yeah. mind mm-hmm. don't preach much mm-hmm. as long as you shall speak the scripture yes. let your vision to be known mm-hmm. that i come and this is my intention yes among the many ladies i am choosing you because i see the vision in you and what i'm carrying we can be able to make something that can help us for a brighter tomorrow you only talked about the guy you have not addressed the girl mm-hmm. this girl that is so much mm-hmm. you know into this how do we make them uh, attractive or rather i mean i don't know um, how the best term to use for this eh? but to make them at least uh, you mm-hmm. know the, the guys can see them mm-hmm. you know they are so much that they believe everything mm-hmm. you know must be done within the church setup i must be seen when i'm still around here and doing the all sort of things within the church mm-hmm. How do we help them? Association. Association. Work with the right company. Uh-huh. Like uh, if you're a single lady, you're not married. Mm-hmm. In that church, there are other ladies who are not married. Mm-hmm. So you can go for youth seminars, yeah. youth conferences. Uh-huh. Because if you only stay in your church and you're not visiting another church, you will not understand that people can Unajua kuna ile ya kitambo mm-hmm. okay sio ya kitambo let wacha nisitumie kitambo like there are some uh, formats that are used mm-hmm. like men have to stay this side and ladies mm-hmm. have to stay on the other <laughs> yeah. side nani kwa church they uh-huh. cannot uh, they cannot mingle together mm-hmm. but we we get to understand no huyu msichana akuwe informed ako mm-hmm. enlightened it's a walk it's a journey 
that I can sit with you mm. and I don't sin. Yeah. That I can call you, we talk mm. and I don't sin. Mm-hmm. And when uh, the lady is receiving the call on the other hand, mm-hmm. just get to understand, nikikwambia uko smart, hata unaweza niambia niko smart na how nipendi. Mm-hmm. It's a compliment. Yeah. You know? When I'm calling you it's not like uh, every time I want us to uh to to to, to go somewhere mm-hmm. just checking up on you and what I can say above all love grows mm-hmm. so cultivate as a young woman accept to grow with time mm-hmm. because uh you will never be single forever yeah you would like to have a spouse mm-hmm. the spouse isa ako katikati ya hao watu wenye Mungu amekupa ya hapo hapo tu hapo tu okay yes. ako hapo katikati that is what uh, uh, pastor Mary says on dialogue today and i want to tell you uh, in the respect of time but we cannot get enough of this uh, young lady here and uh, as we wind up kuna watu pale wanaangalia wanasema huyu mrembo bwana huyu sasa she is you know using a lot of wisdom here uko na mtu kuna wanaza uko na mtu eh tukutafutie eh tupatane nyuma ya tena okay <laughs> Mary amesema tupatane nyuma ya 10 so akinipatia uh, namba nitawapatia namba yake lakini unaweza anza tu na kuandika ni 07 hapo pengine nitakuwapatia now uh, you need to do your parting shot because mm-hmm. our uh, time is up yes. and then uh, we cannot get enough of this next Saturday expect more from pastor Mary man yes Wow, what a wonderful time. It's a great honor that I was here sharing with you uh, this word of God as we, we, we grow. The Bible says that iron sharpens iron. And therefore, I am so grateful to have been hosted. Thank you very much for the time. I can speak three things as I conclude. Number one, when you are dating, uh, both for the lady and the gentleman, number one, uh, because you are born again, be spiritual. All right? So get time to have a relationship with God. If you have a strong relationship with God, you're not going to be messed around. How to potea njia? The Lord and the Holy Spirit who knows all things and even the deeper things of God shall reveal unto you na wakati ambapo unapotea atakurudisha kwa njia. Number two, when God created the man, he intended that both the man and the woman shall become together and become one. What I can say to the young people, let us stand, stay in purity righteousness and the fear of God in holiness because with this is the only way that we can be able to overcome the world and number three as we are waiting today to do something for yourself up- upgrade yourself be informed be well informed be the person in fact when you are dating ready to get married you are expecting to get somebody who who is a who is an intercessor start training yourself and exercising to become an intercessor you are looking for a pastor and you are a lady start training yourself to become a pastor's wife You are a pastor and you are a lady start practicing the way you shall treat a man who is not a pastor that is to tell us above all that you practice to become the next person that you would like to be god bless you so much until we meet again amen wow you got it all from uh, mary as uh, i want to tell you that is that is wisdom after wisdom after wisdom but she answered the question and saying that uh, girls or church girls are not boring to date actually it depends with uh, how you're going to define the term boring and all the all the whole conversation you know she gave us all the wisdom that we need mm-hmm. as, ma- as much as uh, dating mm-hmm. uh, in church yes. is concerned we're going to be very careful and there's one thing that i captured that is very key and very crucial in this respect eh, that she says that when you are preparing to get married then eh, prepare to be the, the kind of a person that you'd want to get married to so it is going to prepare update yourself prepare yourself you know be the kind of a person that you would want you know update na hata amesema unjipange usitafute mtu hapo na hauna ka kitu wewe wewe mbele kwa hata kunywa ka chai pale at least unasema leo i'm going to foot the bill okay that has been dialogue at the well on wema tv every saturday at 6 p.m you can join us on saturday you cannot afford to miss this we love you you are wonderful people may god bless you have a nice evening